Now let's talk a little bit about setup and teardown of our tests. In your test, you may want to run some code either before each of the tests are executed or between each file that's executed. And now we're going to talk a little bit about the globally available functions that allow you to do that. For example, we've got before each, which allows you to run a closure before each test in the current file is run, which is equivalent to the setup method in PHP unit. This means that before each method is run in that file, perform some functionality, whether that's scaffolding up a user or creating some permissions or something for your test in that file to run. That's something that you can do using before each. And of course, the, this variable is scoped to your current test. So anything that you assign into the, this variable will be available in each of your tests throughout that file. For example, if we were to say that we needed to have a user available for each of our tests, we could just simply go before each, pass it a closure and say this user equals factory app user class create. And that way we'd know that we will always have a user available here. And if we wanted to be even more specific, we could say assert count one app user. Oh, there you go. If we run our test, fantastic. We could even add an assertion here that does assert true this user was recently created. And there you go. So we know that the before each method created a user and that that user was recently created as opposed to having been existing in the database before we started.